Good morning, this is the Nintendo Kid coming at you with this. It is the Project 2600. We are playing one of my least favorite games in the Atari system, Steeplechase. Steeplechase is a game about being a yellow horse. Yellow is my favorite color, add that to my wiki. You're apparently this mounted jockey guy who is, like, physically attached to his horse. And you have to press right on the control stick to jump and you get hurt if you uh, get your back legs into it but you just keep going because you know when horses break their legs you don't shoot them in the mouth or anything now there's a couple problems with this there's no way right you just go until three minutes are up right and on this mode it's so easy you're gonna get to the front of the pack, right? Sorry, I have a little cold. And you're not gonna see what's coming because of, you know, the graphic limitations. You're gonna get so far ahead that, you know, like, you're not even gonna be able to see what's coming. Like, I can barely keep up. I mean, like, I'm like, in the front, you know, and the stuff is just coming up. Like that. Like that. Like that. Like this. Like that that. I mean, Steeplechase probably isn't a bad game in any right, especially for its time. This is probably, like, mind-blowing. Oh. Oh, there is an end. Oh. Whoops. Oh, I'm gonna try to game select. Here we go. Number two. Bigger hurdles. Go. Ha! Huh. Yeah, so everybody starts at the same speed, of course. And in this one, the AI is much better. They obviously, you know, are a little bit faster than you. So you really can't mess up. This mode, you're probably going to be in the back of the pack. 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 Because, uh, the middle two usually don't seem to mess up. It's like a combination of two that don't mess up, and there's only two because there's three when you're gone. So it's either going to be the top two. Yeah, see, it's, it's a much shorter race. It's a lot easier for the AI to win. So we're going to try that one again. So go! Steeplechase! Woo! I don't even know why it's called that. It should just be called horse racing. I mean, they call the sports games basketball. Why not just call this horse racing? You know? Like, I, I don't even have a clever title. That's how much this game sucks. I know the Moon Patrol was kind of bad, what I called that one. Conflict of interests while on Moon Patrol. You see, but I took the word patrol and used it as a noun. Like, it's a person, place, or a thing being a thing. Like, you know, you go on patrol to, to scope out anybody, right? And we're gonna try again. I don't even know the difference in this one. I've never played game mode 3. And, you know, I was on Moon Patrol, right? Because I was the tank dude. And I was getting a conflict of interest. Go watch that video if you want to know what I mean. And I just looked at the screen to see if I dropped that many frames. But no, it's only the 4 or 5 that go to the end, so we're good. It's not going to be super lag patient. Oh god. Speeding up! Hitting everything in sight. It's not Grand Theft Auto, it's people chase. It's only been four minutes, oh god. I need to manage my time better. <laughs> ah. Ah. Try that one more time. Go! You can get an early start if you do that. Wow, how am I already behind? I'm already behind. What? I usually, I don't rage quit. I just get mad occasionally, but... Wow. This is kind of bad. Wow. So I've stopped, uh, using the audio from the television, and I went with the delay from a capturing device, but... A lot of people... Right? Also, look off the capturing device, which I've never understood because of the lag. So, 
if you were let's playing not well not let's playing but if you were recording a song from Car Hero, for instance, I mean that would be pretty uh pretty bad. Right? Jump. Go. Ow. Cause you know, you know, Guitar Hero is all about rhythm and crap. I guess. It's been forever since I've played Lego, Rock Band, or Guitar Hero, any of them, because Guitar Hero 3 is my favorite. It's the one I grew up with. Lego Rock Band is just amazing. Good child-friendly soundtrack, you know. Which is a very nice game. Very cute. Very cute. It's actually, it actually has a little story arc, which is kind of funny. Are we on game mode 4? I don't even know how many game modes there are. I really don't care, because as long as this is 10 to 15 minutes, we're good. Yeah, so, as I was talking about in the update that I released right before this, uh, my new channel and whatnot 99 is out. Uh, I gotta go to my channel. Obviously, I have to search my channel on Google or YouTube to find it because of the crappy new layout. And add it so you can get there. And I might put up annotations in that thing. So I'm going to be doing reviews and stuff. Five, six, one, six. So yeah, look out. I'm going to do a lot of reviews. Lots of reviews. I like reviewing stuff. And um, my whatnot videos. Um, I'm going to probably refrain from doing that many news updates on this channel. Uh, what I what I think I'll do is I'll have a new playlist which will be in news updates, and I'll keep what not and stuff. But wow, that was sucky. All right, I'm gonna go back to, to one. I was it was there's only six, huh? By the way, um, if if you're ever wondering what those sounds are, it's me hitting the pedals. Because I actually own an Atari system. We've been over this with my dad's from his childhood and stuff. And how I actually do the setup for this, I really need to clean my room though. It's very messy. You know, small space. Crap loaded floor, like game controllers, but that's beside the point. Um the Atari being attached to the cables and stuff, you can you have to pull it out of the slot, put it on the floor, so that way you can put the games in and be able to hit the reset button. So what I did is I moved some cables around in the back to give it more length, and I can pull it like right to the middle of the seam in my shelf between the, the one on the right, basically the shelf of the Pokemon cards and the QB crafts. It goes like right there, so that way I reach in with my foot. I know that sounds stupid. So I can hit the buttons, well, not buttons, the little levers or something. I don't know how you want to describe them. So I can, uh, change stuff. It actually works out well, so that way I can keep my hands on the controller. Uh, if you want to know how I play this game, because I usually have a strategy for each card game, I have my thumb in the little plasticky area of the Atari controller, and then I have, like, the the first split section of your knuckle, like, rested on the other uh, thing, so that way I just push with my whole hand. Oh! Oh, there's a three minute time limit. Okay, I just suck at this. So that way I can just, uh, you know, hit it very easily. Or something, I don't know. Because, you know, th that's like literally the only control in this, is hitting right jump. I mean, like, they move for you. You know, your speed increases after making jumps. You know, you're, um... You decelerate when you run into objects. Um... It's, it's a nice game, though. I mean, personally, I don't like it that much. Obviously, it's not in my top ten. This is just one that I can do single player. Because right now it's like 7.10 in the morning, and I'm you know, awake in my household. But you know, whatever. Ah, uh, bitching my nose. Should use my other hand. Ah! Uh. Ah, uh, this sucks. 
this off. I should have made myself a wiki. That sounds lame, but I should probably do that. Would you guys like to try to make me a wiki? John Kavan, looking at you. John, 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 John. Pro, pro. We need to have a comment war. We, we need to go build me a wiki. Same to you, Greenberg. You two. And me, we're gonna... We're gonna rule the empire. As YouTuber, YouTuber, two of them are Let's Players, one of them does random stuff about being Mickey Mouse and stuff. No, no annotations. That's just not how I roll. <laughs> That's just not how I roll. Oh, uh, yeah, but probably to John Kavan. Um, go check him out. You know, he's, he's very nice. Nice child. Very nice person. It, it's good to know that there are nice people in the world, though. Very nice. Uh, have I done that history of the Nintendo kid yet? Which are, by the way, still going to be on this channel. Um, have I done that yet? A one on general inspirations of becoming a Let's Player. Have I done that yet? I don't know. I was also thinking about making a scripted series called Let's Learn Star Wars. Where, uh, it's like a CPG or CGP Greg video. You know, like fast talking with nice pictures kind of a thing. Where I, I try to teach certain things in the Star Wars universe. I thought that would be fun to do. Love Star Wars. I spend like half hour reading one article because they're so long. And then from there you gotta go read about other things because... Are gonna hit the wall yet? There you go. Because, you know, you're just sitting there, and then it's like, well, this happened while that was going on, and I'm like, well, what was that? You know, I think one of the first things I was reading about that I got super confused on was New Jedi Order, right? Because it kept talking about that kid that was with Luke, right? That, um, that died in the Millennium Falcon, the Force-sensitive child. I forget his name. He was attacked by that bug race, kind of like the um, Notions, kind of like them. And I was like, well, well, what's that race? You know, so I read about them. You know, I'm like, well, this took place the days after this date? So then I read about the calendar. I understand the calendar now. I understand that race, kind of. I just can't remember the name. Did I win already? What? How did that happen? Yeah, let's put on number two. This is probably gonna be the last race. And then I'm like, I, I was all all over the place reading about that. And then I, and then I had to understand the language. It's apparently like black and basic, and it's like English. They use different characters. And like lots of races can understand it, but they can't speak it. Like some people talk to Ewoks to try to understand it, but they didn't. So that's why I see 3 po is basically just a translator. That's all it does, pretty much. And R2-D2 is an astromech. That I've known for a while. Crap, I failed. And, you know, it's, it's all... Lots of interesting stuff. Lots and lots of interesting stuff. Ah, oh, there's so much! Oh, you know, speaking of Star Wars, so Disney recently, uh the rights to that, so they might be making a 7, 8, and 9, which, um, not, I'm gonna throw this out here, um, obviously I was just talking about it, but there's, you know, uh, not canonical events, canon would be my first episode of Let's Learn Star Wars, canonical events, right, in the Star Wars universe, that take place after the end of episode 6, correct, right? So I don't know what Disney would do about that, because those movies would then become, like, either a clashing canon, or they'd be an overruling canon. Because if you've ever read the book series X-Wing Rogue Squadron, you know, that's officially canon. This stuff, we believe, takes place in the Star Wars universe. We know this. You know, those are characters that exist in the Star Wars universe. We know that, right? So, Uro Kirk and, like, uh, 
I don't know if he was made up beforehand or whatever. Like they used uh, Wedge and Tilly. So he existed before that. Um, but they used Viv Darklater, uh, Zev Sineska. Why did I say Zev Sineska? He's like a bounty hunter or something. Wow, that was awful. They talk about Grandma parking a lot. Very, very nice book series. Halfway through the first one. By the way. Yeah. So if you'd like to, to um, see me do Let's Learn Star Wars, post a comment below on what you'd want episode 2 to be about. Yeah. Racing. More racing. Part 4 of um, Mario Kart, Dobly Dash. Dobly. I'm gonna fail this so hard. And I will see you guys next time.